Come on, guys. I did not mean to get cut off again. Uh, hopefully, we'll get it. Uh, cut off again this time, so I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can, just so I won't get cut off. Anyway, Michelle McCool came out and started to talk and make fun of Mickey James. Then uh, Layla comes out in the fat suit and they start making fun of her again. Uh, M Michelle McCool saying then that uh, somehow uh, she forfeits with Mickey James did not. She then comes out, uh, beats down Layla, and then uses her finisher on Michelle McCool, which gave her the win. And even though it was really short, uh, well, I thought it was pretty enjoyable. Um, I was really happy that Mickey James came out and became five-time women's champion. So that's about it with that, really. She just got her sweet revenge, which I was pretty happy about. Uh, next match was the World Heavyweight Championship matchup between Rey Mysterio and The Undertaker. This was a pretty good, actually, back and forth match. Uh, Undertaker ended up retaining uh, Rey Mysterio. Uh, did pretty good in this match, so um, this match was pretty good, like I said, so even though I might take The Undertaker one, which is uh, really good. Now, getting into the Rumble match itself, um, you know, it was um, kind of slow at the beginning. Um, CM Punk was there to sing uh, to every superstar really that came in that he could save him in the straight of society. Uh, that failed. Um, at a point, Beth Phoenix came in into the Rumble, Rumble match. Yes, Beth Phoenix came out uh, as part of the Rumble. Um, she was uh, going back and forth for after a while, then she got eliminated, so that was pretty uh, surprising. Uh, there was really no other surprises, no Book T, no IVD, nothing like that. But, uh, I believe it was number 30, Edge came out, and, um, uh, he ended up winning, um, at the end it was, uh, I believe John Cena, Batista, Triple H, and Edge, and Chris Jericho, I believe, uh, was all at the end, all those former world champions, uh, were out at the long match at the end, so, um, Edge ended up winning the whole thing, and, is now a number one contender to any world championship he chooses. Um, to me, I'm not sure which one he's going to choose. Um, so, we're just going to have to wait and see about that. Like I said, overall, Royal Rumble um, was an average show. So, if you guys didn't get to check it out, please do check it out. Um, that's pretty much it with the reveal. And the next one I should have, uh, any updates or whatever, or most likely the Elimination Chamber Predictions, uh, which is that pay-per-view is in three weeks, it looks like. So, um, anyway, that's about it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.